I'll be showing you step by step how to automate emails after an order in your Shopify store. Before I dive into it, I want to introduce you to my very own Shopify theme that turns Windows shoppers into instant buyers. It's packed with 20 plus conversion boosting features, and there's a link in the description below, so make sure you check it out. To do so, we'll be using the Shopify email app. This is Shopify's very own email application. It has a very generous free plan where your first 10,000 emails each month are free. So I think it's a great way to set this up here and it allows for quite a bit of customization. You can find this on the Shopify app store, but we'll be using it in this video. So once you're on the install page, we'll click install here. This is going to bring us to the installation screen. And from here, we're going to create a custom automation that's going to be triggered after someone orders from our store. So to set this up, I'll first hit create automation and we can see quite a few different pre-built templates here. And the one I want to select is to thank customers after they purchase. So I'll click on this one here. So the basic flow of this is to start when an order is created, wait one day. We can change this if we want as well. It's going to check if the number of orders is equal to one, and then we can send them a marketing email. To note, we also need the Shopify flow app installed, but it is another free app. So I'll just click install here and it's installed in my store nice and easily. From there, all I have to do is select use template. We can go and customize each step in the process as well as customizing the email template. So we can see it here, what we just previewed, there is another check to see if the orders are equal to two. So this way they've ordered multiple times. We can send them a different marketing email. So to start, I'm gonna change the delay here and I'll change this just to two hours after they order. To note, these emails are different from the order notification that's giving them the invoice. And this is gonna be something more personal. And I'll show you how to edit the order invoice as well at the end of the video. So if we're okay with this flow here, I'm gonna click on the marketing email and we can see what it looks like here. And to go and edit it, all we have to do is click the edit email button. It's gonna bring us to the email editor. And here we can go and customize everything to our liking. So we can change the subject as well as the preview text. Then we can go and actually change the body of the email. So I'm gonna remove or hide this section here for the header. And I'm just gonna generate a quick thank you email post snowboarding store. So I'm just using the chat GPT plugin here. I'm just going to copy some of this content here and I'll paste it in. Let's exit out of that, back up. So we can go and edit any of the text. We can customize the image by clicking on it, selecting a different image from our store, changing the social icons here, which we'll want to update. I'm not going to dive into changing this specifically. So it's probably kind of boring to watch me update this, but the key thing is just to match your store's brand. Maybe you want to offer them a discount code or something similar to help incentivize them to purchase again. You can do so all within this email editor. It's quite easy to use from adding different sections and previewing it on mobile and desktop. Something I'm going to recommend is sending a test email to yourself just so you can see what it looks like in your actual email client. So will exit that there. And we can also do the same thing for the secondary email. You can also even remove this if you didn't want it. You could hover over it, hit the delete icon, and then delete the other step as well. And to turn on this workflow, we head to the top right here, click turn on workflow, and I can turn it on. And it's telling me that the email is still in draft state. So I do actually need to go and finish that. And if I actually click into it, it's just because this is a test development store. I'm not actually able to use Shopify email. I need to actually be on a paid plan. So your store should be on a paid plan and that should work okay if we just hit turn on workflow. And just like that, we've used the Shopify email app to add a thank you notification after an order. Now to go and actually edit the invoice, I'll head down to settings in the bottom left. From there, we want to head to the notifications tab. When we click on that, we can head to customer notifications and we can change the order confirmation email. And so this is sent when a customer places an order. So I'll click on that one here. And if we click edit code, we can actually edit these styles if we like. And there are some email template builders out there. I'm not able to actually edit this because I need to review my sender email, but I've done a different video on the channel as well on actually how to customize some of this code. But this is where you can find it in your Shopify store. If you've made any sales on Shopify, you know how hard it is to keep track of how much money your store has actually made. And that's where our sponsor Profit Calc comes in, the one-click profit calculator available for your Shopify store. Once set up, all you have to do is select the date range you're looking for to get real-time calculations, along with a ton of different details, analytics, and methods metrics so you can truly understand your store's performance and true profitability. And this allows you to make smarter business decisions as you'll actually have an understanding of how much your store is actually generating. There's a link in the description below to access the Shopify app listing directly. You can also find it in the Shopify app store by searching for profit calc and looking for this logo in the top left. It comes with a 15 day free trial so you can test drive everything for yourself. Before I go, I want to mention Conversion Booster Pro one more time. My very own Shopify theme. There's a link in the description below as well. This concludes the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.